the bottom of the deck is relinquishing control so is this control that somebody has on you or uh, maybe a situation or maybe you're putting too much control into the situation at the bottom at the top of the deck is um let's see uh in ennoble your soul so really allowing your soul to become one following your intuition okay uh that would bring great love for you right here okay so let's see here um welcome guys i hope you're doing well i know it's uh i just had trouble loading yesterday every which way and it was a great message because it was a twin flame message um i did write it down in the description under my community um, and you could see it, it was uh, about reconciliation and I felt it was a twin reconciliation, but the video was just, I couldn't record it. I tried several times and during the recording, it was just like all of a sudden it just became this weird speech and slow. It was weird. Um, so I don't know. I just gave up. I had to give up. I was getting too frustrated. So my new internet comes on, uh, on the 5th, so I'm hoping everything will get better. So let's see, with the relieving anxiety, this is a healing energy. This is really the worries that you have, whether whether they're the worries of the world or just worries that you have inside. It's very much asking you to maybe, you know, lessen them. And you can lessen them through uh, meditation, uh, Reiki, um, you know, uh, anything that's peaceful, like this kind of music, just playing this kind of music in, in your background, it just helps you to be peaceful, okay? So relieve anxiety. What is this anxiety, please? What does this mean? Wow, okay. So you have um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you've lost something, maybe you've come, you, you've had like the riches, you know, you've had everything. You might have lost it or maybe this is an old situation that needs to go away um it, it, you you could have met you know you could have plateaued in this uh, situation that's why the ten of um pentacles is in reverse it's almost as if maybe this is an end and you're having anxiety about ending something it could be a job it could be a relationship a marriage um maybe even family issues you know something that you need to resolve uh, but I definitely do feel, um, okay, here's the rest of the cards. So you have the, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Two of Cups, the Hierophant, and the the, pay, the Knight of Cups. So I think what it is, it's almost the similar energy as yesterday. And I, I mean, I know it's crazy, but I just feel like karmic energies sometimes don't want me to say certain things. Um, but I definitely do feel that this is where somebody is scared to move on from something, okay? There's anxiety, maybe a lot of fear or um, on how they can approach a different situation. You got the Two of Cups, which is denoting a new relationship, a partnership coming in for you. Um, this is definitely with the Hierophant there. It's a soulful union, so it could be a Twin Flame journey. You have two knights here, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, which is telling me somebody is somewhat maybe wanting to give you an offer. Um, this could be from your twin. This could be from your soulmate. Uh, if this is not love for you, then it's business. Maybe you're needing to leave a big corporation that maybe isn't doing anything for you anymore. You know, it's not paying you back. Um, maybe there's really a lot of instances here that can relate to um being anxious about ending some kind of uh long-term situation here but i feel that once you get out of this anxiety and once you sort of relieve yourself from the pressures of maybe ending a situation you're steady you're steady with the nine of pentacles meaning stability um i think this is a lesson learned maybe you're ending a less a karmic lesson and so now you're ready, you're lined up to have that partnership. If it isn't your twin flame and this is a whole new new love for you, then this the two of cups is really denoting that new partnership for you, whether it's business or love. Um, and really the Hierophant is telling you to believe in it, believe in changes. Uh, it, it does represent change. Uh, the Hierophant also, uh, you know, uh, 
represents a marriage or commitment or really asking you what is it that you're truly committed in hopefully it is love i mean my goodness you got the two cups here i feel it's very emotional you, you should be happy doing what you're doing um and then with the knight of cups maybe you are getting an offer of love of emotional fulfillment um maybe that that person that balances you out maybe this is you giving an offer um and really it's a spiritual drive that's making you making you make this offer or vice versa but i definitely do feel with the ten of pentacles in reverse it's something that you might have anxiety over getting over or ending okay ten of pentacles please ten of pentacles what is the ten of pentacles this one here the high priestess is this maybe um something with a mother you know maybe a mother holding you back maybe you're trying to make your mother or family happy um this is also where secrets are being held this is also where maybe you have knowledge or feelings of things that are not going right um maybe things that you need to reveal to others or things that will be revealed to you about this situation like i said almost as if you've lost something in the past don't be scared of being able to rebuild it again especially if it's something that's been long standing and if it is a job that you have to leave maybe you have a knowing that you, you maybe you're just not growing there anymore whatever that is for you what is the high priestess with a ton of pentacles just curious high priestess with a ton of pentacles please so ten of swords and the king of wands so it could be somebody influencing you not to move away from something. That's what it feels like. Um, it's something that maybe you're being stuck because of a parent or um, something that keeps you stuck. Okay. What is the Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. The Death card. So it, it, it's very much um, letting go of instability and things that keep you in this pattern of a ten of swords energy letting it go so that you can have a rebirth and so you can have stability i do see you going towards stability with the knight of pentacles there um it definitely could be that maybe this is an offer of stability that's coming in for you but it's also something that is is almost shedding light uh, letting go of darkness okay with the death card there it's a total transformation which has made this person somewhat be more steady sorry i got the hiccups again no sorry uh two of cups please what is the two of cups so judgment a second chance look at that wow is this your twin flame coming back and like i said yesterday's reading it was like a reconciliation full-blown um so is this where you're getting that edge and that nerve to maybe give an offer of love to your twin or soulmate? Is this you balancing out a situation so that you can get in that new partnership? If it isn't love, it could be a business partnership. If you've lost all your money, you know, don't worry. You will get that second chance to rebuild. Maybe meet the right person to help you be um, um, like an entrepreneurial or maybe some some kind of business starting up a business okay if it's not love what is the hierophant please hierophant what is the hierophant okay so you have the king of cups this is the the card of change okay with the hierophant it's a card to change into spirituality uh something that gives you um knowledge to know that it's okay to evolve as a different being um, with the King of Cups, this is somebody who's having self-love, who is making choices for themselves, who is following the intuition, who is not being held back by vulnerabilities or fear or anxiety. So this really could be the reshaping of your divine masculine with the death card, the judgment and the King of Cups. And maybe perhaps you will be getting some sort of good message coming in or some kind of, um, you know, apologies or... Um, just a good offer here, okay? Knight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups? Okay, so you have um, the the Justice and the Nine of Swords. 
Are you worried about a divorce? Are you worried that a divorce isn't going fast enough? Um, that could be that Ten of Pentacles that you need to end, okay? In order so that you can give the right offer to the right person or maybe place yourself in that right place to get an offer. Um, I do feel that there's some sort of action that needs to be taken. Maybe action is being taken, but it's maybe not going fast enough. You got the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Devil. This is really that offering of rebuilding something. There's a lot of passion driving you to this new offer and this new this new way of being, okay? Um, maybe this is you leaving a toxic situation with the Justice and the Devil, okay? Uh, let's see. I want to know what is the Devil energy here, the Devil energy. What is that Devil so strength, overcoming fear, overcoming anxiety, having enough courage to do the things that you need to do. Um, what is the justice, please? The justice. What's the justice? Okay, so they're down here. The Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Okay, so it's really clearly a message of not sitting around too far and waiting for this opportunity to miss you to maybe go away you know in other words um don't wait too long is what i'm i'm seeing here you do have a new beginning don't fear ending something whether it's love or business don't don't fear ending that okay with the justice card there um beautiful so let's see what is the eight of wands eight of wands please the eight of wands a wish fulfillment so take action on what it is that you will fulfill you don't have anxiety about it i definitely do feel like those are beautiful cards at the very beginning um that are leading you into going towards something better a, a union maybe this is a twin flame union okay and giving that offer you have second chances here with the with the death card um the death card the the Justice and the King of Cups. And I definitely do feel like this is a masculine energy balancing out. Um, let's see. With the High Priestess, I definitely do feel, you know, take action um, against stagnant energies. Uh, you really have to build a foundation for yourself, not for others. And that's where the next card is leading uh, with Explore Your Ancestries. Because I feel like that card is about um, taking a look at your karmic patterns that your family holds as far as uh, generations. Um, how can I say it? Like the way that you were brought up could have an effect and an impact on how you lead your, lead your life. That's why we see, I saw the high priestess as a mother figure trying to hold you back. Or maybe you feel like you have to satisfy others and their beliefs and their way of, of doing things. And so I definitely do feel like you should look at the family patterns okay what is explore your ancestry please explore your ancestry what does this mean for the viewer so those things could hold you back um you know karma is a big thing and i can go so long and tell you so much about it but it goes through lifetimes and and, and it does sort of evolve in in new lives if you don't handle it okay um, <clears throat> it takes a, a long time to heal things too and break patterns. Okay, so let's see. You have the because you're needing to make a choice at something that you truly love, and it could be holding you back. There could be a hindrance as far as you satisfying others um, and you not choosing to love yourself enough to make that choice of happiness and balance. Okay. You also have this one right here, the King of Pentacles. So I definitely do feel like whoever this is, you got to branch out from the family into something that is more, it's for you. It's for your stability. Um, and if it means choosing to end a relationship as far as divorce, to go to the, the, the partnership that is right for you, that's a very hard thing to handle and to really you know take action on but that's what it's being called on um i want to know what is the king of pentacles um taking action look at that with the two with the chariot um letting go of the negative energies is what i see here 
What is the chariot, please? The chariot. Truth. Okay, you have to speak the truth also. Um, meaning being honest to yourself and being honest um, to perhaps maybe let go of some kind of burdens. Maybe you're carrying burdens for other people and they're not your burdens to carry. This is with the magician. This is something that um, you set yourself up to start over again and manifest stress-free less burdens more peace okay what's i want to know what is the, um, the release the fear release the fear so release the fear is the star allow the healing energy to come in allow the connection to come in you may be having a spiritual connection with somebody and it's gone through different lifetimes okay and you maybe you haven't been able to come together in a lifetime yet but this is really um, the star telling you to allow, I guess, divine intervention to take place. Um, whether this is somebody who has maybe shied away from spirituality, um, this is really with the star card allowing you to come together and become whole. Um, maybe with the union. Um, I also feel with the family card here, um, the ancestry card, this is something that maybe you're breaking a pattern of religiousness or beliefs or something. Um, you know, maybe your 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 family is more Catholic or Mormon or you know some sort of religion, but you're becoming more spiritual. You're being more in tune with you, and that goes against their the grain of what they've taught you. I think that's a hard thing to break here for somebody. It causes a lot of fear and anxiety. What is the star here? But the star is telling you there is a spiritual connection here that's trying to move you in the right direction. So victory and success with the Six of Wands. Um, this is somebody who's battling these old paradigms, these old um, infrastructures that have been placed to by family, maybe even society. Okay. Um, what is the Six of Wands? And that's definitely somebody coming in from a battle, from, um, you know, maybe something very uh, ooh, toxic and somewhat very heavy and weighing, weighing deep in your chest, maybe betrayal. Um, and I think this could be betrayal because you betrayed yourself, you betrayed your soul to really choose what you truly love. Um, I want to know what is the Six of Wands? The Six of Wands manifesting a new beginning with the magician. Okay. Um, and okay, see a new beginning. The King of Swords speaking your truth, knowing what it is that you want to do. Um, manifesting truth and honesty for yourself, being authentic for yourself, taking action. Um, the magician is really much a person who is starting over. Um, I do feel like that is happening for somebody, especially with the death card and the judgment card. So my gosh, let go of the fear of moving forward. Um, I feel like you've lost something. And it's almost like a person who doesn't believe that in the future they will get something good, you know? Um, so this is where you let go of that fear and let things happen the way they're divinely guided to you. Um, that's the best way I can say it because I do see good things coming in with the magician and this the world okay so very beautiful I do feel like with this fear you're going to be able to overcome it with the star and the six of wands there um, and really start over again with the magician and the world that's definitely new beginnings so maybe this is your person who's seen clearly now with the king of swords king of swords sees clear they don't take no for an answer and they tell you how it is so this is a person that maybe is finding their voice again okay um so very nice let's see here i would like to know um step into the unknown don't fear the past don't take the past with you that is definitely a roadblock for you with the seven of pentacles there's really a sense of getting more for what you want maybe you've been growing the wrong thing Putting yourself in the wrong thing that doesn't make you um, flourish the way you want, okay? It's almost like your success is being smothered, okay? Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles, please. Seven of Pentacles. I did see the Empress, so let's see. 
Seven of Pentacles. Okay, starting over, taking that leap of faith, not caring what maybe the family or maybe the karmic partner or whatever it is. It's like you taking that leap of faith forward. Um, what is the fool's beginning? Okay, so taking action, definitely look at that. Um, so really taking action on the things that you don't know are going to happen. In other words, whatever you're manifesting with the magician as far as a new beginning, um, don't don't put too much on the outcome. In other words, let things happen naturally. There is success coming for you, but so don't fear the change. Um, listen to your intuition. With When you do that, you allow changes to come out. Um, stay away from fear. Uh, don't bring fear into the future is really what I hear. Don't bring fear into the future. Allow things to change. What is the moon? Because you're scared of this new beginning. How do I do it? How do I leave such an old situation here? You've learned a karmic lesson, but how do I leave it? That's what I hear with the moon. What is the moon, please? Choicing. Choosing. <laughs> Sorry, choosing. It's choosing. It's really choosing that balance for yourself. Okay? Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. At the top of the deck is that Four of Wands. A new commitment. Maybe um, letting this person know that you want a commitment with them. Choosing. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> How does the story end for today, please? How does the story end for today? How does the story end for today? How does the story end for today? Okay, so the star card, healing, uh, coming together, being balanced, divinely guided. Um, this is really the sense of a, a really strong connection as well. Um, and then the sun, so healing. Maybe healing a connection, okay? Um, reconciliation is what I hear. The death card, okay? Letting go of sabotage. Could be self-sabotage. Giving yourself a second chance. And taking action, really, with the king of wands. So perhaps this is where you are following your intuition to happiness and um, a sense of freedom, they said, okay? So follow that intuition. Reveal the things that you need to reveal. Don't hold them back because of fear. Okay. So let's see here. <clears throat> what is the karmic situation here? What can you tell me? What What can you tell me and how will it end, please? So someone's healing. You got the doctor card, which means healing. Maybe getting help from others. Um, you got the priest having your faith, opening up to your faith. And then this is like the tower card, a total um, change, a way of thinking, letting go of the faults, the falsehoods, the, the false foundations, okay? Um, and then really waiting, waiting for change. Perhaps maybe you know somebody is waiting for you or vice versa. I do see a sense of gathering together, coming together, celebrating and having some kind of... Um, what do you call it um success prosperity success come in okay so let's see here okay what is the message that they need to see in here okay so uh, your psychic abilities you could be having like a psychic connection with someone make sure you're working on your life purpose and then finding finding yourself having a new beginning transformation really and then uh, forgiveness forgiveness and reconciliation i'm telling you um it came out yesterday as well um so i do feel like this is you going towards those new things um and maybe allowing i i do feel like for somebody too i think i said it um it just could be that you're thinking different than your family or the old situation and you're trying to go to the new but you're still sort of holding on to the old and you're so wanting to break free and be new okay um so for whoever that is um i want to know what is the insight for today what's the insight for today okay <clears throat> so dream big let your desires expand. There is no limit 
to what you can create in your life. You can accomplish far more than you ever imagined possible. So yeah, I think you're waking up to the fact that you can manifest happiness and start over again and have love and have victory and love. Maybe this is somebody who's just had bad relationships all the time or bad situations happen to you, but you're getting balanced. You're going to get something good. Okay, so let's see. What is the affirmation? What is their affirmation for today? Their affirmation for today, please. What is their affirmation? Okay, <clears throat> so it says, let's see. I am calm, balanced, and focused. I act with clarity and courage. Crisis is an opportunity. I overcome all challenges with ease. Very nice. Building, building stones, building blocks. You know, you're getting there. Definitely. Um, what is the whispers of love message here? The whispers of love. The whispers of love. Okay. Wow. I love you. Someone loves you. Definitely. I do get that. Okay. So, uh, let's see. And what mermaid message do they need to see? What's their mermaid message for today, please? Their mermaid message. They feel a little comfy. Okay. Acceptance. And I think I might have said that you have to sort of accept things to be able to allow abundance to come in for you. Um, and be very aware of what your energies are. And let's close it off with your angel. What is your angel message for today? What is the angel message for the viewer for today? It's up to you. So take charge because it's really up to you. I think it's that King of Swords needing to take that energy to really make the changes that they need to and get over bringing in um, the past. Really, yeah, that's what I think. Helpful people. So look for people who think like you and um, are helping you in your journey instead of holding you back in fear and stress and toxicities. Okay, so there you go. I do hope you like the reading. Thank you so much for your time. I do value you guys liking and sharing and looking for me. Have a great day.